What's up YouTube? Jeff back again and today I got another very exciting Samsung video for you guys today. Today I'm going to talk about the top nine tips to customize your Galaxy S23 Ultra and improve your overall day-to-day -day experience just with the aesthetic of your device. Uh, we're going to be talking about widgets, icon packs, uh, where you can get quality wallpapers, lots of things that people usually ask about either here or on Twitter. And uh, this is kind of a roundup. I will get into each of these things separately and more detail in future videos. So if you want to see really in-depth on each one, make sure you subscribe to the channel to check that out. Now, I also want to mention, because someone was asking about this in a previous video, uh, this stand right here that I have is uh, from my friends at Lamacall. It is a folding travel stand. So it actually folds up like that. You can put it in your bag. It also has height adjustable, tilt adjustable, and uh, some of these were included in the Galaxy S23 Ultra mystery boxes. If you guys are interested in one of these, they also match the S23 Ultra colors, like this is the blue one. Uh, they have one that matches the violet as well. I'll drop the link below. You guys can check that out in the description from Lamacall. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I got my Google Keep document. The first one I'm gonna talk about is wallpapers. People often ask where I get my wallpapers from, and there's really three main places that I get my wallpapers from. So just really quickly, the first place that I get wallpapers from is Backdrops. I've been using this app for a long time. Backdrops offers several premium packs, which you can also pay money for, like the Pro Pack, Optic Odysseys, Cosmic Journeys, um, and there's even one for desktops as well. I think that's the Cosmic Journeys one. They have an Earth collection from Google Earth, an Android collection, they also have a collection specifically for AMOLED displays, which of course the S23 Ultra is, so you can save some battery life. Um, they've got one with like triangular designs and surreal escapes, which is a bunch of really cool landscapes. They also have some that are sourced from the community. Uh, whenever new wallpapers are posted for new tech products, like if a new device comes out, they usually upload the wallpapers there. Very cool app. There is a premium version, like I said, but I think it's worth it. Uh, the next place I get them from is another app called Wallpaperly. Wallpaperly uh, is also another premium collection of wallpapers. There are some free ones, but I definitely recommend the paid version. These all, these apps are only like a dollar or two each. There's some really cool ones, especially if you're a sneakerhead or if you want something minimal. This is one that I used with my Lime Galaxy S23 Ultra in the beginning. You guys have probably seen some of these before on my videos. Uh, and then the last place, my friend One4 Studio, who makes a lot of the icon packs I use, and we'll talk about icon packs next. He also has wallpaper collections. If you go to his website, Go down to wallpapers, which again, I'm going to link this stuff below. He's got several collections. You guys have seen a lot of them on my channel. I've used the space collection recently, abstracto, scenery, uh, all of these ones, badass. Uh, all of these ones are ones that I've added, you know, or used in recent videos. And in fact, today's video is from the Aries pack, which is the wallpaper I have right now. You guys can see that right there. So those are the places I get my wallpapers from. There's a lot of options, but I link those below because I use them in my videos. People often ask where they can find those things. Next up is get a custom icon pack. Icon packs are one of the best parts about owning an Android phone, in my personal opinion. You can easily find icon packs to suit any style. Like I said, my favorite icon packs come from my friend one studio If you go to his website, you'll find all of his icon packs right here on his website. They are linked. His newest ones are Lena and Aries. I actually made a full video on these about how you can install custom icon packs using your Samsung phone, which I'll talk about briefly in just a second as well. Um, but these icon packs are some of my favorites. You can also find them on the Play Store, but if you go to his website, you can click through and it'll take you right from the plate there to the Play Store as soon as you click on those icons. Now, the ones I'm using today are the Lena White icons. This is part of the Lena pack. There's several different themes. This is the all white icon pack. And the best thing is, if he is missing some icons that you need, you can go into the application and request them. Now, as for how I apply my icons, I use Samsung's Good Lock and Theme Park module, which is right here. Theme Park allows you to apply custom icons of any kind that you download from the Play Store. I made a full tutorial video on how to use Good Lock and Theme Park to install the icon pack of your choice. I'll link that below. It is a little bit because you've got to get used to using it, so you do want to watch the full video, and it's a little long to put in this one as well since I've already made a separate one. So those are icon packs. Definitely recommend checking out an icon pack and installing a custom one. It really adds to your everyday experience. The next thing that I always use to customize my home screen are widgets. And there's a lot of options, of course, for standard widgets that you can install out of the box on your Samsung Galaxy device. One of the very popular widgets now is the new battery widget, which Samsung brung with One UI 5.1. This is stock. You just long press on your home screen, go down here, you find widgets, and then you can go down and find battery. But of course, you can also add lots of other widgets that do lots of other things. And one thing that a lot of people don't know is you can actually add also premium widget packs, which are installed using an app called KWGT. So if you go to the Play Store, 
and you search really quick, KWGT, of course I missed it, there we go, Custom Widget Maker. Now this is a paid app, you need the pro version to install it, again, it's only a couple bucks. You can get access to tons of widget packs which you can install. Now, you, once you download the app, if you long press, what you're gonna do is you'll then add a widget using KWGT. So like this, you'll long press, you'll go to widgets, you'll go here and select custom widget right here. And you can choose from a bunch of different sizes as usual. Now I already have one on my home screen, so I'll show you what the editing process looks like. This one right here is a widget from a pack called 1.4 KWGT Reloaded. Um, this is a really cool one that I use and one that I've really enjoyed using over time. Once you install KWGT though, all of your presets will appear here on the main page. This one's called Neo Mix 001, the one that I'm using. It'll also give you some suggestions for other premium packs you can download from the Play Store. Some are free, but a lot of them are paid. Um, and also the best thing about some of the icon packs from my friend 1.4 Studio is that all of his icon packs also come with custom KWGT presets that you can actually get for free included with the icon pack. But I'm personally using this one right now, 1.4 KWGT Reloaded. Some of my favorite widgets are included in this pack, and it's one that I used last year in the S22 Ultra as well. This one's really cool as well. I love the text on this one. There's a lot of really useful ones. I tend to like to have one that includes my time, my battery percentage, the weather, and a music player. Uh, you guys will notice that I usually remove my time from the top because I have the time here on the home screen. I think it just looks a little bit cleaner, but of course that's a preference. You can also get widgets to do any number of things in addition to this. Notes, you can even get widgets that open up apps if you want to replace your uh, icon pack, basically just by using a widget that has shortcuts to apps, you could do that as well. Up next is customizing your keyboard. In fact, these last five tips are all going to be things that are inside Samsung's GoodLock module. I talk about GoodLock a lot on this channel and there's really good reason for that. GoodLock does a lot of stuff. And people who don't use GoodLock really aren't using their Galaxy device to its full potential. So let's go in here and talk about the first one, which is customizing your keyboard. And you can customize your keyboard fully inside of the GoodLock application using the add-on called Keys Cafe. So once you download GoodLock from the Galaxy Store, you're going to download Keys Cafe, and then you can use this to style your own keyboard. And in addition, you can choose how the layout of your keyboard looks. So down here is where you actually do the styling. You can choose different themes. So like you can choose a black and red theme, purple theme, whatever it is you like. Uh, let's see, I might try something that matches my Lime S23 Ultra a little bit. Let me try this one right here. Now Theme Park actually does the installation as you saw right there, but Keys Cafe is what lets you choose it. Then you can also add some cool effects. So you can add some cool keyboard color effects to your device like this. You can add key color effects here, and then you can also add motion effects, like they've got dog paws, they got the paint splatter. I've shown quite a few of these before in the past. And then also different key motion effects at the bottom. So when you put all that stuff together, if you go into something like Twitter and you bring up my keyboard now, you can see how the keys look, how the motion effects look. It's very, very cool. Uh, overall, huge fan of customizing my keyboard using Keys Cafe. It's something that I've really been doing for quite a while. Now, in addition to the style, which is the color and stuff, you can also play keyboard games in here, which is fun, sentence practice and word rain. You can change advanced keyboard settings like auto replacement sensitivity, double tap interval of three by four keyboards, uh, and this one, longer space bar while URL typing. I think this is a nice option to enable as well. And then up here, you can go into make your own keyboard and choose like a custom layout. Like you can see the one here I added called my keys. I added a period down here by uh, on the side of the space bar, customize a few other things about the layout and about the size, um, and then you can play around with this. You can also share this layout right here um, just by doing nearby share and kind of share it with a friend if they wanna use the same layout that you're using. And then up here is where you would actually then load that if you had a preset that you wanted to load. Of course, you can change other settings about the keyboard in the stock settings, but a lot of people don't know about Keys Cafe. This is what really allows you to take your keyboard customization to the next level. Uh, the next one is S Pin customization within GoodLock. So if we go back to GoodLock, the module that allows S Pin customization is called Pintastic. I've talked about this a couple of times. It lets you do quite a few things. You can first of all change your S Pin um, pop-up view. So over here, you can change this. I've got it in the line configuration. You can also do circle. You can do retro, which is what it looked like 
back in the Galaxy Note 4, Note 5 days. You can change your pointer. I actually changed mine to a heart one day while I was playing around with it, but actually I'll go back to the crocodile here. You can change the size of the pointer too, so if you want it to be a little smaller. And uh, you can even add a custom photo over here. So if you have a custom photo, like of your kid or something, you could use that as your pointer for your S Pen. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can change your default sound. So you can change it to match. Like if I'm using the crocodile, I could change this sound to the crocodile. I think I have my phone on Do Not Disturb, so probably why it's not playing the sound there. And then you can also change the double tap shortcut. The double tap shortcut basically allows you to double tap and go to your favorite S Pen app. So the S Pen app I use the most is Instagram. So if I hold the button here on the S Pen and I double tap, it takes me right into my Instagram. So that'll allow me to crop photos. I use Smart Select a lot to go in there and crop things out and then share them on Twitter or on other social media applications. So that's a fantastic feature. Pentastic is the module within GoodLock that you can install, fully customize your S Pen uh, in addition to the stock options. The next thing is customizing your settings menu. There's actually an extra thing you can do here as well, but if you go into GoodLock, go to the life up side and scroll down to the bottom, there's a module called Registar. And Registar actually has a very, very interesting use case. Let's say that you look for certain settings a lot, and so you don't like the order in which the settings are in your main settings menu. You can change the menu order right here, and inside the menu order, you could move those settings up to the top. So you'll see here, like, I actually move sounds and vibrations and notifications above modes and routines, but I could also even move display up here if I wanted to, because I use display settings a lot more than some of these other ones, and I could save that. And then when I go to my main settings menu, that's gonna be reflected in here. So now you'll see display is at the very top. That's really cool because it lets you get the stuff that you use a lot faster. You can also see your settings change history. So you see how I turn location, do not disturb. It'll show you when you've enabled these settings. So you can go back and see if any weird settings were changed on your phone, maybe if someone else was using it. There's some nice search options. In particular, allow creation of shortcuts in your search. And you can also determine how it displays the search results as um, multi menu order or accuracy in terms of how accurate they are. Uh, you can also do down here, uh, when you go into the back tap action, I turn this off, but I'll tell you guys what it does. It allows you to tap the back of your phone twice or three times, and then it'll trigger an action. So you can like take a screenshot, open an application, but I find that it just triggers way too often. I even tried playing with some of their other gates to turn it on. Uh, down here, you can actually turn it off for power saving and low battery mode. Um, but I triggered it by mistake just too many times. So I eventually turned this off. I was playing with it a lot on my S22 Ultra as well and decided to turn it off for that reason. Uh, side key press and hold. This is something that allows you to basically turn off, uh, sorry, turn off the phone using your side key or do some other action. Uh, of course, this overrides the settings in the advanced features menu, which I showed you guys previously. So if you go into the regular settings and you go to advanced features, you can actually control this from here, but the only options are power off menu or wake Bixby. Uh, if you go in here to registrar and turn this on, you can do anything you want. You can open an app, take a screenshot, turn on live caption, show notifications. I personally just want the power off menu, so I haven't used this that much. But if you want to do something besides power off your phone, this would be a great way to do it. So Registrar has a lot of cool stuff. Like I said, my favorite option is the option to rearrange the settings for me personally, because I like having the stuff I use the most on top. Uh, let's see, next is customized gestures. So this is One Hand Operation Plus. If you go in good luck, once again on the life up side, One Hand Operation Plus allows you to set these handles on the left and right of your device, and you can trigger various actions using those handles. So you can see right here that for my particular device, I could change the straight right, diagonal up, diagonal down, and you can also have long swipe versus short swipe. So if I want to, for diagonal up, I could say, let's say, turn on the flashlight. So now if I go back here and I go diagonal up, it's gonna turn on my flashlight. So that's pretty awesome. And if I go diagonal up again, it turns off the flashlight. So that's a pretty cool feature right there. Um, you can basically trigger pretty much any action you want. The idea of this is that it actually makes your phone easier to use with one hand because you can trigger all these different actions from the side with swipe gestures instead of having to wipe you know, all the way back up to the top of your phone because it is a very tall phone and it can be unmanageable. 
Now you can choose the size of the handles, the transparency, the touch width, just so it doesn't bother you. You can also change the handle color, like if you want them to be green, like because I've got a Lime Galaxy S23 Ultra, I could change them to be green so they kind of blend in with my background a little bit better. Um, a lot of stuff you can do. Basically unlimited customization in terms of those, as well as the gesture settings you have, the gesture angles. You can change what angle you need to swipe up or down for the diagonal, how long you have to swipe to initiate a long swipe, which you can make it a separate action from a short swipe. This thing is infinitely customizable. You could spend easily a couple hours playing around with One Hand Operation Plus, but it does give you a lot better time enjoying uh, the use of your phone. You even have S Pen gestures in here as well. So you can turn this on and then you can use the S Pen to do the gestures. So like if I wanna do diagonal up to turn that light on again, now I can use the S Pen to do that and I can use it to turn it off as well. And the S Pen works fine instead of my finger. Okay, so then the last one here is customize some camera settings. And this is also using two modules from the Galaxy Store. Uh, the first one is a good lock module technically. It's called Camera Assistant, it's right here. All of these can be found in the Galaxy Store that I'm showing in Goodlock. Uh, once you download Goodlock, you can actually download them all from within Goodlock itself. This allows you to customize a lot of things with your camera like auto HDR, picture softening if you want to add some softening to your photos, auto lens switching, which I often like to turn this off, but you can play with it and see which one you like better. Quick tap shutter, which basically takes the photo as soon as you tap it instead of when your finger is removed from the trigger. Um, capture speed, you can prioritize quality, Prioritize speed and quality or prioritize quality or speed in high resolution. Timer multi-photo options, how many pictures to take when the timer goes off. Camera timeout, which I leave on two minutes just because yeah, that's my choice for the default because I do a lot of stuff with tutorials. And dim screen while recording. I personally think this is a good option to do as well if you take a lot of video. So a lot of cool stuff you can enable with Camera Assistant. Now the other application that you definitely want to download, this is actually found within the main camera settings. If you swipe over to where it says more, you'll find the Expert Raw option right here. Expert Raw is actually its own separate app. I've already downloaded it, but if you go into the camera settings and you do tap right here, it'll give you the option to download it. It opens an entirely separate camera application when you do that. So it's gonna open the entirely separate camera app called Expert Raw. Expert Raw allows you to take photos in raw mode, which basically gives you the opportunity to capture extra detail and then edit something like you know, with Adobe Lightroom, pull out extra detail, highlights, shadows out of your photos. It's fantastic. And I'm gonna make a video comparing Expert Raw to the main camera when taking photos so you guys can see how much better it really is. So those are my suggestions for improving your experience on the settings, the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Kind of a lot of stuff. Again, I definitely will put the uh, chapter marks below. Sometimes this can happen as well with your S Pen. You gotta be careful. You guys see how I typed in a text field there? instead of doing the checks box. You can also write in text fields with your S Pen to text. So if you're using the S Pen to navigate around, got to be careful with that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will drop the icon pack wallpaper links below. Like I said, all of the applications from Goodlock can be downloaded from the Galaxy Store inside Goodlock. So I'll drop a look, uh, link to Goodlock below. Again, if you guys want to check out the Lamacall desktop stand, I'll drop the link below to that as well. This was included with the mystery boxes. If you've got a Galaxy S23 Ultra mystery box for me, you'll receive one of these stands. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.